How we doing guys? This is Chris from Terrestrial Imaging here today introducing the Cable Cam Task feature for the Typhoon H. So the Cable Cam mode is just one of the various different tasks that the Typhoon H is capable of uh, you know, performing. And what it does is it allows you to set different waypoints that the drone will continuously fly through until it reaches its end destination. When it reaches its end destination, you can just reverse the trip, exit, or continue to fly however you like. So now the real benefit of this is being able to sit, uh, set multiple different waypoints and have your drone automatically by itself fly through these when you initiate it. And when it's flying itself, you're going to be able to focus all your attention on just filming what you want to film. So we're going to show you what this looks like in just a second when we take this up in the air and introduce to you guys the cable cam task mode. Alright guys, so now that we have the drone hovering in a stable manner, we're going to take our eyes off the drone and look at our controller. So in the bottom right hand corner you have the task button, so we're just going to press that and we're going to hit CCC. So up is going to come a bunch of instructions, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to hit skip because I've already read these. And um, now what you're going to be able to do is set your waypoints. And you're just going to add a waypoint by hitting plus. So we'll just take our starting point where the drone is right now and we're going to make that a waypoint by hitting plus. So now I'm going to move the drone a little bit to the right and I'm going to make a second waypoint. So I'm going to move this to the right and up a little bit. And now right there is going to be my second point and I'm going to hit add. Now we're going to pick a third point and I guess I'll just move the drone now uh, even more to the left and forward. So now we got the drone a little bit more centered and we're going to make that our third waypoint and we hit add. So now if you want, you can hit save and I'm just going to say test. And if I hit done and save this, this is now going to be in my lists and I'm going to be able to use these waypoints every time I come back to this location. So now when you're all set, you hit start and you swipe. And by doing that, the drone is going to now fly to your first waypoint and you can see that the drone is now right where we initiated it. So now in order to continue through the different waypoints and start the cable cam process or movement, you now have to hold up on the left stick for a couple of seconds. And now you'll see the drone moving continuously to the last point. Now that it's at the last point, it's gonna stop. And now I can either hit exit, pause to stop it. Um, I can also just continue to free fly. Or if I hit down on the left joystick, it's going to reinitiate and reverse the process. And it's going to go through all the points until it now gets to our first starting point. So now I'm just going to press exit to get out of the cable cam mode. And click on the screen to get rid of the taskbar functions. Or sorry, click the task button. And now I'm back into manual control of the drone. And I'm going to land the drone. And that's cable mode cable cam modes. Alright guys, so I know the video might have been a little glary due to the sun, but just to recap what happened was through initiating the uh, cable cam task function, we had to select different waypoints for our drone to fly through. So we had our initial start point was where we already had the drone floating, and then we just picked a couple more start points based off of that, sorry not start points, a couple more waypoints based off of that, and our drone flew continuously and fluidly through these different points. When you reach the end, you have to reverse the process by pushing down on the left throttle, and then it'll pull you right back to your start point. So if you guys want, you can obviously add more than three points and test this out yourselves. But we strongly recommend that you do this with a spotter because when you start to take your eyes off the drone and look at your screen, you know, it can be a little distracting and it's just safer to have someone have eyes on the drone while you're doing this. So um, if you guys have any other comments, questions, or concerns, just leave those down below and keep on looking out for more videos and thanks for watching guys.